Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ask the Sams Anything About Marriage uh, live stream that we do every Wednesday from 7 to 7.45 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we are so glad that you can join us today. So let us know where you are joining us from. Uh, we are live streaming simultaneously on uh, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, and Facebook. So all three places you should be able to uh, see us. So uh, say hi from where you're, wherever you're watching today. Uh, and also let us know where you're watching from, uh, your city, your country, your state. Because we've noticed that um, uh, we do have an international uh, group of viewers uh, that join us. Uh, we ourselves are based in the great country called Canada. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why our website is the sams.ca because we are Jiva and Salojana Sam. Yeah, we are the Sams from, from Canada. Canada. So it's dot .ca. That's why our website is called the sams.ca. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, we're waiting for you folks to uh, join us. And as you join us, uh, let us know uh, where you are from. Uh, we can see uh, your comments uh, on this app that we're using called Restream. Um, we found out that uh, when we post a reply to you, not every one of you can see it, depending on which. Uh, social media channel you're using. And so if you put a comment on, we'll respond to it um, with our voice uh, live in person. Um, and so let's very quickly uh, introduce our uh, theme for today. Uh, so two weeks ago, well, actually a week ago, uh, Wednesday, we began uh, what is turning out to be a two-part series. And the question that we asked leading up to last Wednesday's uh, session was, uh, uh, hey, uh, married couples, let us know what are some stresses mm -hmm. that you experience that are unique uh, to this particular season. Uh, Christmas, of course, uh, is a big holiday that we celebrate, but there's also uh, Hanukkah, which was just celebrated by our Jewish friends. Uh, and of course, you know, it's the holiday season. You know, you get to take time off work, uh, which of course is good, uh, but also uh, the holidays can bring their own share of stresses that we don't get to experience any other time of the year. <laughs> okay, and of course, this year is very different, so, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because of COVID, um, you know, you cannot get together with uh, family. Uh, maybe it might be good for some of you. <laughs> Uh, it, you know, it will prevent some uh, um, discussions, disagreements, um, or, you know, some of the people that you fear, you know, you don't want to face. Uh, that's not there. At the same time, you know, for some, some people, uh, this is the time of the year they connect with family and they are going to miss it uh, because uh, they are very connected, very united with their family. So it can be stressful um, that way also. Um, now we have got somebody joining us. Uh, okay, yes. so oh, that's uh, my friend Carr from mm -hmm. LinkedIn. Hey, Carr, good to have Hello. you on board. Yeah, uh, Carr's an amazing man. Okay, mm -hmm. very wise, uh, very savvy, and very good at what he does, and uh, uh, and also yes, very very encouraging. That's how I got to know Carr because whenever I post something, he's always giving us some encouragement. Mm. So we appreciate you very much, Carl. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, yeah, say hi, just like Carl did. Uh, and he's watching us on the LinkedIn platform. I know there are some of you that are on uh, Facebook with us. And usually we have somebody from YouTube also. So uh, if you're watching us from any of those channels, say hi. Uh, we're just going to get uh, get cracking here, Soja. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just one more thing. Uh, so basically, what we do uh, uh, on the whole, all the time, <laughs> is uh, we uh, mentor married couples uh, from the verge of uh, um, breakdown to breakthrough in as little as uh, ten weeks, uh, guaranteed. You know, or, yeah, guaranteed. So 
Um, we have uh, helped many couples, and there are testimonies, testimonials on our website. You can um, check all that. Um, yeah, so that's what we do. But um, this time of the year, we are going to, you know, um, attend to some of the questions, comments that you had posted, and uh, we we kind of group them into different categories. Uh, I think last week we touched on um, uh, relationships, finances, and uh, this week we are going to cover the rest that we couldn't cover last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So first of all, we wanted to glasses. yeah say thank you to all of you uh, who responded to the question that we asked, and because you know we are aware of certain stresses. Uh, we've been married for thirty-seven years, and so we've uh, been through quite a few Christmases and holiday seasons. Uh, together, and so out of that, uh, you know, we have an appreciation uh, of some of those uh, stresses. Uh, you can turn that off, slowly. Yeah, we <laughs> we have a fireplace behind us, and it's uh, uh, kind of uh, setting setting our seats on fire. <laughs> so I think we're gonna, we're going to turn that off. You guys can kind of see a little bit there. Uh, just below that is the is where the fire is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I have a funny feeling we're not live streaming on Facebook for some reason because normally we have quite a few people joining us from oh. uh, Facebook and I'm not totally sure uh, what is going on. Uh, but anyway, we'll carry on. So as Slojan has said, you know, we have uh, been uh, grouping those responses. Mm -hmm. And so uh, so last week, uh, you know, uh, by the way, the number one concern that most people, number uh, the top two concerns, I should say, that most people expressed had to do with uh, with both finances and relationships. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And relationships, particularly in terms of uh, family gatherings. Yeah. You know, That's you know right. how certain stresses crop up mm -hmm. at family gatherings. And um, we we touched on those two last week. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We can. Yeah. We can maybe even you know uh, talk a little bit more this week and mm -hmm. then cover yeah. the rest. Yeah. Yeah. And if you have any anything else, you know, that's coming to mind that um, you want to ask us or, um, you know, that can be stressful at this time of the year, um, any of your questions, concerns, um, you can, you know, send it to us uh, now also. And we'll do our best to um, tackle them and with the help of the Holy Spirit, we'll mm -hmm. answer those questions yeah. also. And one of the things we also want to let you know that, uh, like, whenever we do a live stream, uh, we're very in a very public forum, and so if you have a concern uh, that you would rather express to us, uh, you know, in confidentiality, um, you know, at a personal level, privately, uh, then all you do is send us a direct message, and so that way we will get your message, and we can respond to it uh, appropriately. Uh, and by the way, this will be our last uh, live session for this year, and so you know we want to take a break. Uh, you know, for the next uh, couple of weeks, uh, spend some time together. And uh, next week is actually a, a special occasion uh, in my life <laughs> as I celebrate my, oh, should I say it? Yeah. <laughs> 63rd birthday next uh, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Yeah. So yeah. we'll be too busy celebrating to join you all. Mm -hmm. um, and then. Plus, it's getting too close to Christmas. Christmas yeah. Exactly. And so I'm sure we'll you. We'll give everybody a break. I'm sure everybody's going to be busy. And yeah, next two weeks, and then we'll join again um, in in the new year. Yeah, yeah, yeah right on. So, slowly, yeah. let's look at uh, what are some other things that uh, that people mentioned mm -hmm. as issues that they would like us to address. And so, uh, so we'll just maybe read some of them. Uh, so, even in the relational area, uh, somebody, a couple of people actually talked about a lack of appreciation. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, for all the work that uh, somebody does, uh, even to bring people together for Christmas, mm. uh, you know, maybe in terms of decorating, in terms of uh, preparing all the extra uh, meals and so on. Yeah, and and we the do baking, the cooking. Yeah, you know, the, yeah. yeah. And we do realize that this year, uh, especially in in the Canadian context, uh, many of our our provinces all across the country, um, our governments are basically advising us not to get together. Uh, at Christmas, even within provinces, the province that we we live called Ontario, uh, Canada, uh, our, our daughter, for example, lives uh, in downtown uh, Toronto area, uh, which is uh, you know under lockdown right now, and so so they're forbidden from coming, you know, traveling even an hour and a half.
to where we are by Niagara Falls uh, to come and celebrate with us. So that may be a reality for some of you. And that can cause its own, you know, a kind of stress, can't it? Uh, not not really being able to get, get together. together. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's why I mentioned earlier, you know, some some people might be happy, you know, that <laughs> because they like last week, we, we kind of uh, talked a little bit, you know, how they don't look forward to some of the disagreements, the, you know, the arguments they might have. But at the same time, yeah, I also mentioned, uh, you know, people will miss their families. But there's yeah, some, yeah. So, um, just... Unity, you look forward to looking uh, you know, um, uh, meeting, uh, getting together with your children, with uh, extended family, and that's not happening this year. That can yeah. be stressful yeah, yeah. also, not yeah. being able yeah. to see them. Because for some, uh, Christmas holiday season can be actually be a stress reliever, mm. you know, because of being with family, getting away from where you are all the time. Mm -hmm. Like even the change of place, yeah, a different location, yeah, uh, change yeah, of pace, right. of course, yeah. you know, uh, those are all welcome mm -hmm. uh, most years. At holiday time, or many families, uh, you know, and and couples, if you don't have children, uh, you know, that are part of the picture anymore, uh, you know, use this time to travel. Or not you know, home. living at home. Living right? home, yeah. You go on cruises, you go on holidays, uh, or maybe you have a timeshare. Or mm -hmm. uh, in Canada, many people have uh, winter lodges, holidays. Uh, you know, if you're a ski buff, then this is a good time to go uh, skiing in uh, in Colorado or. <laughs> Uh, some of those uh, hot spots for is that a right word to say hot spot for skiing i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so all those plans uh, you know are uh, you know are basically yeah to. null and void this year yeah. so you have to spend even more time with each other okay mm -hmm. and one of the things somebody else mentioned here was the underlying stresses uh, that have uh, already underlying issues things that have already built up mm, you know because over the, of the pandemic yeah and not just the pandemic i think also because of uh, issues in the marriage mm. you know that have built up over the years and uh and, and christmas does not provide that relief this year mm -hmm. because you still have to be together mm -hmm. right yeah and so one of the things we talked about uh, last week you know is that um, in some ways the stresses that crop up at uh, christmas and holidays mm -hmm are really founded or caused by not necessarily the season. The season kind of tends to aggravate things, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. There are a lot of things that are uh, that have been, um, you know, maybe swept That's under not, the rug, kept under the surface, you know. Already there. Already there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, so the remedies that you take, because <laughs> you really don't have much control over what's happening on the outside, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so, uh, like I was, I was on a call the other day, and, uh, and one of the guys that was on the call had made plans to celebrate, uh, you know, his his wife's anniversary, uh, you know, and 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 they had very purposely researched and found a place to go uh, that was was not affected quite that badly, you know, by the pandemic. The restrictions were not quite there; they were not in lockdown or anything. Uh, but then, lo and behold, the governor of the state all of a sudden said no. No travel, no Christmas gatherings, and so uh, so it's a terrible letdown, you know, uh, for them not to be able to, you mm -hmm. know, do what travel. they thought they had planned to do. Uh, so all of a sudden, you know, you have to come and come face to face. Well, all, all what, what I was trying to say is, you cannot control what happens outside of you, mm -hmm. but you are in total control of what happens inside you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so one of the the best pieces of advice uh, that we can we can give you uh, for this season and really for all the time in your marriage is focus on the things that you can control. Make the changes mm. that you are able to make on your own, uh, rather than get stressed out about what you cannot change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. I think the first uh, first step is to accept um, your situation right now. So, uh, everybody's living in different places, you know, except uh, what, what, uh, how Christmas is going to be, you know, in spite of uh, all the plans that you made, um, you know, because of the restrictions, um, first of all, accept it. Okay, so we can get together with family. Now, what is the next step? Mm -hmm. So that, you know, you're not worrying, your, your mind is not, you know, kind of wandering and 
yeah, just let's uh, deal with, uh, make the best of uh, our situation now, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And one of the things that we we stress a lot uh, in our marriage mentorship, so as I mentioned earlier about how we, yeah, you know, take a, um, a married couple who's on the brink of breakdown and bring them to breakthrough, uh, you know, in as little as 10 weeks. And we even guarantee the results. And uh, one of the reasons we're, we're able to do that is because we help couples to focus on the things that they can do, that they can control uh, individually and together as a couple. Yeah. Uh, and so, for example, uh, one of our foundational, you know, uh, elements of our mentorship is really uh, stressing the importance of forgiveness, mm, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, and I was just thinking, like even uh, with the with the pandemic, you know, when somebody outside of you decides that you cannot get together, you know, the airline calls and says, "Sorry, you know, we've canceled the flight because we're not getting anybody into your favorite destination mm. uh, this year because of that." Uh, so of course you're you're disappointed. Mm. I think all of us are going to be disappointed. Yeah, you yeah. cannot, you know, that's a human. Um, being, that's a human. Yes. Yeah, that's human response. But if we dwell on that hurt, mm. uh, then you know we are uh, we're building up uh, some unforgiveness, and out of that unforgiveness, uh, you know we can start to get angry, uh, we can be resentful, and if we keep on dwelling on anger and resentment, uh, that turns into bitterness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and so our anger and bitterness and resentment may be at that external force, you know, the state governor. Uh, in our case, you know, our prime minister, premier, our local mayor, council, you know, whoever, you know, prevented us from getting together. Uh, but you know who you're going to take that out on? Not on those people out there. <laughs> you take it out on the people closest to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so yeah. normally, who's the, who are the people closest to you? <laughs> you know, it's your spouse. If you're married. Married. Mm -hmm. If your children. And and so 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 in other words, uh, you know, you need to forgive even those people that you don't know, you know, who put you in that kind of predicament, and so that's the starting point. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, you know, when you're together all the time, uh, you know, we do create a lot of reasons uh, to forgive <laughs> <laughs> and to be forgiveness and to receive forgiveness, right? Uh, because you know, we we tend to uh, rub people the wrong way. Uh, and have more friction with the people closest to us uh, than with people who are at a distance from us. Yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. Uh, so you know what? This Christmas maybe a uh, holiday season is probably a good time, you know, for you to uh, to really come clean, you know, before God uh, with each other, mm, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And to say, hey, uh, uh, God, what what are some things that I need to, uh, you know, receive forgiveness for, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And 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 also. Uh, you know, just ask God to show you. You know, what are some ways in which, uh, you know, I have hurt my my wife, my husband, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, yeah. Some some of the things that we have done, first of all, uh, ourselves yeah. to others. Uh, Holy Spirit will highlight that for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, if others have hurt you, then um, you bring those before God also and forgive and let go. Yeah. You know, they owe you nothing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When, and we there's a there's a, a book. It's not that big, uh, but a very powerful book that we recommend mm -hmm. uh, to all of our couples. Uh, and it's like under ten bucks. I think it's like six or seven dollars on Amazon. Uh, called Grace and Forgiveness. Uh, it is written by uh, some senior leaders in the church named John Care Arnott, uh, based in uh, Castle Fire, Toronto. Is the movement uh, that uh, that God used them to found uh, over 25 years ago now. And, and we actually use a number of their prayers uh, that are in that little book uh, in our mentorship. And so we would highly recommend, like, you know, I know a lot of times we're looking for things to read uh, over the holidays. Uh, that is a very quick read, but it'll have a very lasting impact mm -hmm. uh, upon you, upon your marriage, upon your life, really. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah, because forgiveness is not uh, limited to marriage. Uh, so that's one of the number one things that we would highly recommend. Uh, put the book there. And that you take care of. Yeah, I can I can put the name of the yeah. book there. Mm -hmm. That's a really good idea, Soldier. Okay. So uh, okay, so I keep talking and uh, uh, what what else can people do at this time of the year mm -hmm. in, in terms of dealing with these kind of stresses that crop up? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, um, before we got on uh, live, you know, that's the, the session, 
I was telling Jeeva, you know, sometimes we, um, we are piling up so much stuff, so much celebration, so much, so many get togethers. It's uh, it can be at work with family and extended family uh, and things like that. And then, you know, come January, there's nothing, right? So um, some of the things that we can, you know, maybe uh, postpone them and celebrate, wait till January and celebrate them because there's nothing, not much going on at that time, you know, to make things so that you can spread out things uh, and not, you know, uh, stress yourself working out everything, you know, around Christmas time. Mm -hmm. um, I thought, you know, that's a, that's an idea. We um, I'm not sure if it was at work, a few of us ladies, you know, wanted to get together around Christmas time. We thought, you know, um, why do we have to do it now? Let's wait till January. That was one year, you know, and that's probably the one of the best things. We were, everyone was so relaxed, you know, we didn't have uh, too much of other commitments and we still had a really good time. So that's one suggestion, you know, that came to me. Um, if you can wait and mm -hmm. put off some of the celebrations or get togethers, um, you know, yeah. um, it doesn't have to be, you know, those that don't have to be, you know, at Christmas time, wait till January, mm -hmm. just one little tip. Yeah. You know? And I don't know what it is like in your jurisdiction, but uh, in some of our uh, areas, the schools are actually getting an extra uh, long break. And so rather than go back to the school right at the end of the holidays, uh, you know, right? Some of the schools mm -hmm. are getting an extra week. Extra week. Uh, so even with children, you know, rather than put yourself under a lot of stress to do everything, uh, just in this very very short time period, you know, you can you can postpone some things into the new year. You know, spread them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, have even, a good time. And and even some of the breaks that you plan to take, uh, you know, maybe before Christmas or between Christmas and New Year's, uh, you know, like take them a little bit later mm -hmm. yeah yeah so Our birthdays some people have uh, birthdays um either after christmas or before christmas that you cannot really work into the holiday time maybe um see you can wait yeah. till january and yeah. celebrate yeah um just a little tip yeah <laughs> and one of the one of the things we talked about this last time actually uh, uh we specifically in terms of gift giving and that is uh give gifts according to the love language uh, of your spouse and so, uh, so one of the things that, um, uh, that that we've been, you know, sharing with you know some of the couples that we mentor uh, lately is that uh, no matter what your love language is, uh, there are some things that everybody appreciates all the time. Mm. And one of the things that everyone appreciates all the time is words of appreciation. And so, if you have fallen short in that area, you know, with your spouse throughout the year, uh, so one of our viewers uh, actually. Uh, last time, you know, actually, you know, she had started a conversation with us uh, even before the session, uh, you know, kind of asking, you know, how can I do some gift giving card into my uh, husband's love language? And and so one of the things that she decided she would do is to actually uh, write a letter, uh, you know, that expresses all of the appreciation that she mm. has not offered her husband, you know, for all the things that she had maybe taken for granted, the things he does for the family. The things he does with the children, the things he does for her, uh, and so so this is a time when uh, we, we have to we have to find ways to counteract the stress. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Slojan has, as if you've been on uh, LinkedIn and Facebook, uh, Slojan has been doing a series of posts lately on you know living a stressless mm -hmm. you know, life and marriage, and so and one of the things Slojan you mentioned was gratitude, and we talked about. You know, you talked about like doing a gratitude journal and so mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. uh, but but uh, that gratitude is not just to God for the things that you're thankful for. That's right. Uh, but it's also gratitude, you know, towards, towards each, each other. other. If you're married, yeah, and, yeah. yeah, yeah, your children, yeah, mm -hmm. be. yeah. Uh, even simple thing I wrote down, you know, this good health, the weather, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and you know what. Um, we're talking earlier about children, you know, being home and so on. Uh, you know, encourage your children, mm. you know, to to write some of those things that yeah. they appreciate in their siblings. You know, if they're old enough to express that uh, with for their mommy and daddy or other members of the family. And of course, uh, some of the children, uh, you know, would do a lot better to draw pictures, you know, rather than to write. Especially, you know, if they haven't you know, got to the place of learning the alphabet and putting words and sentences together. 
uh, then you know get them to so create an atmosphere of gratitude uh, you know in your in your home at christmas time uh, another post that you you mentioned so is really about uh, uh, like take your eyes off yourself mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. on others mm -hmm. uh, we'll put them on others focus on others uh, which is actually like a very good advice uh, i mean for, and we tend to do it a little more in the season right mm -hmm. you know, we mm -hmm. become more aware of uh, yeah. You know, people who are not able to celebrate Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, people who uh, you know need gloves and coats and scarves and donating to charities, charities that type of thing. Yeah. Uh, but the the principle behind that uh, is really giving to others and and not just focusing on uh, on me, my mm -hmm. you know what I want, mm -hmm. what I need even, uh, but to focus on others. Uh, and and you can start doing that right in your household, wouldn't mm -hmm, you? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, yeah. So um, what is it? Just like the love language you're saying, yeah, yeah. doing things for yeah. So giving your spouse, uh, yeah. giving does not necessarily have to be, you know, buying, you know, expensive gifts. It could be giving each other the time, the time, yeah, yeah. attention, time. yeah, yeah, appreciation and, and quality time. Like whether it's your love language or not. Uh, like spending time with each other, uh, I don't think any of your spouses are going to push you away and say, you know, like <laughs> get away from me. You know, you're spending too much time with me. <laughs> We've never heard a couple make that complaint. You know, we're always together too much, and that's why our marriages and such are off shape. <laughs> Said no one. <laughs> All right, and so uh, yeah. So, so give give to each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, what that person of, needs. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. And and you know you know something. If you're not totally sure what your what your husband needs, your spouse, your wife needs from you, uh, ask them. Yeah, that's a <laughs> big big hint right there. Okay, uh, just ask. Hey, uh, you know I I know I've been very busy with uh, you know with my projects and uh, haven't really been paying a lot of attention to you. Uh, what are some things that I can do for you? Mm -hmm. You know, what are some mm -hmm. gaps? Yeah. Uh, that you are seeing, you know, in our relationship, uh, that I can help fill. Mm -hmm. uh, and first of all, your spouse might fall off the chair when they hear that question, because <laughs> <laughs> they probably haven't heard that question from you. Yeah. Uh, but but that's okay. You know, it's a good time to ask those questions, uh, because these are the questions we need to ask all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we don't always get to ask. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And you know, we probably don't realize the importance of asking our spouse that question. Mm -hmm. So that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. As uh, Soraya has been mentioning in the in the uh, social media posts, uh, one of the reasons that she's taking a lead this uh, this week uh, is because I'm busy writing uh, a, a book, mm. you know, based on our on our marriage mentorship process. And actually, today I was writing uh, the chapter uh, on 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 time, actually, on making time for each other, mm. you know, in a marriage and being intentional about it, and and how often in the middle of our uh, busy schedules and uh, you know commitments, mm -hmm. you know, with work, with business, uh, in the community, our children's, you know, uh, sports things, you know, all those kind of things, uh, you know, we tend to neglect the time that we need to give each other. So, uh, so what what I what I, um, I'm kind of getting at is that this is a really good time to establish some good new habits mm -hmm. that can then carry on in the new year. Uh, like one of the things that um, you know you often hear talked about uh, in in context of marriage is uh, you know, what people call date nights, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so, so what is a date night? A date night is really the gift of time uh, that you give each other. I would even take it one step further. It is not just the gift of time; it is the gift of undivided attention mm -hmm. yeah. that you give to each other, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so this season. You know, gives you a perfect opportunity uh, to do that because you know you don't you're not going to work. You have time, and so uh, you know. So if you have children, uh, then and you're not able to, you know, uh, drop them off with uh, family. <laughs> uh, you know, that's not a, that a luxury that is available to you. Uh, then you know what? Take some of the money that you would have normally spent uh, traveling somewhere, and invest in a babysitter, uh, and just the two of you. You know, go out for a whole afternoon. Uh, go out for a morning, go away for a whole day, uh, if possible. If possible. Yeah, yeah, or if possible, even go overnight somewhere. You know, just just go for a night, and just just be together. Um, you know, one year. The restrictions you have to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
if you are able to. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like Sloj and I, you know, like we, we do this a few times a year uh, where we both uh, go together and we get uh, his and hers pedicures. Uh, mm -hmm. Did I hear somebody laugh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I, I always thought pedicures were not for me. They were just for the ladies and for Slojana. So I would gladly pay for her to, to go and get a pedicure. And I then, like it when he comes and joins Yeah, me. and then one year, I think we got this brilliant idea that uh, because we live very close to Niagara Falls. And so um, uh, we, we thought for our anniversary, mm -hmm. you know, we would treat each other uh, to the gift of a pedicure at the spa. I think it's at the Sheraton Hotel, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the spa actually overlooks the falls. And so we thought, let's go, you mm -hmm. know, and get his and hers done. And if nothing, we'll get some good pictures to post on Facebook, right? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a little pricier, you know, that because I think we're paying for the view as much as we're paying for the service. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? I loved the pedicure. I just, uh, you know, love the way my feet felt uh, afterwards. So since then, you know, we've we've done it a few times, Often. haven't we? Yeah, yeah, we even had one maybe about a month or a month or six weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, just went to a local place here, uh, a nail place, and uh, just sat there, relaxed for a while. Uh, and you know, I think when we went to Niagara Falls, we went and had uh, I don't know some coffee or cappuccino or mm. lunch or something together afterwards. Went uh, for a little walk. A little walk yeah, along, the, along falls. the falls. Yeah. And so so it was, I mean, obviously we did that for our anniversary. Uh, but I'm saying we can do that just as easily now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and I would That's even right. venture to say that uh, some of these places that used to be very, very busy normally are not going to be this season. Mm -hmm. yes. And so, uh, so this is a perfect time to treat yourself, treat each other. Mm -hmm. What you're treating each other to is not really the pedicure. It's really being with each other, yeah. the gift of time, the gift of undivided attention to mm -hmm. each other. Because we sat there and we just talked away and mm -hmm. about things. We were close enough; we could hold hands and looked at each other. <laughs> looked at each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Today we we'll probably have to wear a mask when we do that. <laughs> uh, we That's not... right. This was yeah, uh, yeah. Two, But no, well, the one we, we the one we got here a couple of months ago. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we were masked, mm -hmm. uh, but we our eyes could talk. Hello. <laughs> All right. uh, so yeah, so give yourself those, but what, what I'm really saying is develop some new habits. Mm -hmm. And so let's say you have a like a, like a two week break, uh, you know, between school and work and all those kind of things. Uh, then maybe on those two weeks, establish a certain time mm -hmm. uh, when you give each other that undivided attention. Um, and, and so start a new habit, okay, mm -hmm. of being together, uh, you know, so one of the other things you talked about in terms of, you know, relieving stress, not just uh, Christmas stress, uh, holiday stress, but stress all times is uh, taking some time just to be quiet. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a powerful uh, stress releaser. You know, just uh, put some, um, we call it soaking music. So you can go to YouTube and if you put uh, soaking instrumental, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, you'll get lots of uh, those soaking um, some people call it meditation, but uh, it's, there's a little difference. So um, put that on. Um, just don't do anything else. No, no praying. Um, yeah, just uh, clear your mind and you know just focus on God mm -hmm. and sit there and uh, just feel feel His presence, feel the peace. Yeah, that you know you cannot explain and. Uh, it, it's a great stress releaser mm -hmm. and we we do that almost every day almost every day I do it you know just before we go to bed even if it's a few minutes 10 minutes uh, 15 minutes yeah, the more you can do it the longer um, the the better so um, if you you know need more information on that send us a message um, or we yeah mm -hmm. we've got yeah yeah some yeah. information we can give yeah. you and, and one of the things uh, that you can use with your when we talk about these date nights or spending time with each other, uh, you know, sometimes when you are not used to doing that, you know, you're going to think, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> you know, aren't we going to run out of things to talk about? Uh, well, uh, we can help you with that. Just send us a message. We'll be mm -hmm. glad to send you uh, some uh, some questions uh, that you can ask each other. You know, simple questions. 
um, you know, uh, uh, like they're not questions that will, uh, you know, get you into a disagreement, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so, so we will not have any political questions, uh, you know, in there for you to, uh, to get into a debate on and pull you apart even more. Uh, but there are details that quite often we haven't shared with each other, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes uh, like, like for, for example, uh, this is, the, I don't think this is an actual question there. Uh, but let's say the question is something along the lines of, uh, hey, uh, who was your favorite teacher in grade seven? And, and you probably haven't talk, thought about your grade seven, uh, you know, years in a long time. For some of you, that may not be a long ways back. But some people like, like us, it may be a few decades that we have to go back <laughs> to get to grade seven. Uh, but wh whatever that may be, when you, when you actually start thinking about that and sharing, mm -hmm. you know, like, you, you, know, you first of all get to relive some uh, some some good memories, maybe even some friends from those days. Uh, but also, your spouse gets to find out some details about you. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. because we we know things about each other by hanging around each other's families. You know, we may have heard some stories and so on. Uh, but there are questions there about you know about your like your parents or or some of the others in your family. Uh, you know, what ways are you like your father, mother? You know, like that type of thing. So some of them are a little bit deeper. Uh, but but they will actually help you to uh, talk to each other more. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. And it will bring you closer to each other. Also, you know, the more you get to know each other, the more you open up and you know ta uh, 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 expose yourself. You know, um, be vulnerable mm -hmm. to your spouse. Uh, the more uh, sometimes you know the, there are difficult things. Uh, it's difficult to talk about, but you know that's okay. Just just talk about it anyways. Yeah. And it'll um, you know bring you closer to each other than anything else mm -hmm. right? yeah yeah and okay, let's move that a little bit. if you if you want a, a fun read that will also provoke some good discussion i'm going to put up another uh, uh, book title here uh, that again we actually recommend this to all of our uh, uh, couples in our mentorship and uh, and this is a fun read but one of the is more than a fun read. Uh, it actually also has um, some discussion questions at the end of the book. Okay, so the name of the book, Slogan, You tell them what the name of the book is, and I'll put it up on the screen. Oh, men are like waffles, and women are like spaghetti. Okay, so there we go. Men are like waffles, women are like spaghetti, uh, by Bill and Pam Farrell. Uh, this this is not a new book. I think this book's been around probably a good twenty years. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people know men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Yeah, that's the uh, Dr. John Gray book. That's a good one, also. Uh, that's very good. Mm -hmm. This is a little bit shorter uh, than that one. That's a little bit more, you know, academic. This is a little bit more uh, uh, like kind of a conversational, colloquial uh, kind of a language, uh, but it has a lot of truths, and and this one. You know, it's, it's very solidly biblical as well. And so that's one of the reasons why uh, we recommend it because, you know, it's a faith-based uh, mentorship that we offer. Uh, but the, the the good thing about this book is you laugh a lot when you read this book. It's a very it's light reading. Uh, but to get the best out of this book, what you need to do is to do those discussion questions. Mm -hmm. right? They are way at the back yeah. of the book uh, for each chapter. Yeah. So uh, finish one chapter each and then go to the questions way at the back of the book and, you know, have a discussion with your spouse. Yeah. And yeah, it makes it very, that much more interesting. Yeah. And yeah, yeah and, something and, to talk about. Yeah. And, and this one, like you can keep, uh, I mean, you don't have to put, you put yourself under pressure to finish this uh, over the Christmas holidays. Uh, you know, you can actually start now. And then like this could be the theme of your date night. You know, for a, for a few weeks, or maybe you can stretch it out over you know two or three months even. You know, if you're not a very fast reader, uh, so whenever you you know get together in those times, you can talk about hey, what did you uh, read this week from mm -hmm. the book? Yeah. Uh, what are some things that stood out for you? In what ways you know are you like this, uh, or do you see me, you know, uh, doing that waffle stuff? <laughs> what are some uh, waffles in which I put myself? By the way. Just in case you're wondering, um, can you can, let's try and explain why why they call it waffles and spaghetti? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So so well, go ahead. You talk about waffles. Okay. Yeah. 
So waffles refers to a tendency that men have to compartmentalize everything. So one of Slojana's famous things to me is, uh, 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 you know, you, you have difficulty multitasking, don't you? You can only focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> <laughs> there are a couple of exceptions to that I try to tell her uh, but for the most part uh, she doesn't believe that I can listen to her and uh, and and look at look my at phone. cell phone at the same time she does not she's a, like a, when you're in waffles you can't do that you're either you're either caught in the phone waff box of the waffle or you're caught up in her and not both okay now, Usually, uh, it's the phone, and you're <laughs> ignoring the spouse. <laughs> <laughs> now, with women, on the other hand, yeah, what what does it mean to be like spaghetti? Yeah, so we can start with one subject, and then all of a sudden we are onto another thing, and onto another thing, and by the end of it, we were wondering how did we get there. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so uh, like this, this could be a typical spaghetti, you know, conversation. It's like, hey. Uh, uh, Jiva, uh, you know, your, your your dad actually called. Uh, you know, make sure you call him back. Uh, and and did you know that they have a sale going on right now? Uh, you know, at uh, at the, at, the, at the mall. And uh, and I, I, you know, that I I need I need shoes. And and speaking of shoes, uh, you know, when we went on that trip, you know, across the border, and we went to that big shoe store. What's the name of that uh, store again? And uh, it was uh, in that mall. They also also had these you know beautiful Christmas trees, didn't they? Oh, that reminds me. We need to get a Christmas tree for our house this time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's that's yeah. spaghetti for you. Yeah. Okay. So you can be all over the place, but not. We're not talking about being scatterbrained. It's like it's kind of weaving in and out of different things, like like a bowl of spaghetti. It's all there together, but you know, it, it's not like a waffle where this compartment, boom, this compartment. Spaghetti is <laughs> okay. Easily navigate yeah, from one to the next. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's so, how we are. Yeah. We are wired, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so that's a fun read. Uh, so, all we are recommending is uh, do something fun. Uh, you know, read a little bit at a time. Uh, let me also give you a hint. One of the things we found out from our couples in marriage mentorship is that not in uh, in in, uh, uh, in uh, between a husband and a wife, not always do you find both uh, our readers. Mm -hmm. Like some of them both love to read, so this gets done very easily. Uh, some cases one is a reader mm -hmm. the other one basically said thank god i'm out of school no more reading to do <laughs> yeah <laughs> I've that's given up, me <laughs> <laughs> i've given up reading for life okay? yeah uh, so we've had a couple of cases uh where uh, i'll give you two cases one is where the husband could not catch up with his wife she was just so used to reading that she was just way ahead of him uh, so he got the brain wave that he would get the audio uh, book. He, he, I think he had an Audible subscription, and so he he basically got the book, and and before you know it, he caught up with her just like that. Another case uh, where uh, you know again the, the the man he he I mean he he wanted to read, but he knew that it would take him a lot of time and effort, you know, to to read. Where she again was a, a quite a reader. And so they came up with the idea that uh, they would actually read together. Well, he would, she would read, and he would be there with her, and then she they would, would read it out loud. Out loud, yeah. yeah. And then they would answer the questions together. Uh, so how do you make it work? Uh, so, so that's another way. You know, uh, again, what is the goal? The goal is to find some ways to communicate with each other, but it doesn't feel like you know you're kind of uh, on an inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> where, where your your husband uh, or your wife uh, is interrogating you, you know, like they're they're from the FBI or the CIA uh, or the or the CISOs here in Canada, uh, trying to pump you, you know, stuff out of you, uh, but you just get into a, a casual conversation that is uh, enjoyable. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you're learning a lot about each other. Yeah. Okay. So these are all, and the whole point of that is to say, use the holidays, use this Christmas season. To develop some new habits, mm -hmm. to get something started that will stand you in good stead, mm -hmm. you know, as you go beyond the season. No, we have okay. dealt with all the. I, questions I think we've covered trying. everything. Yeah. yeah, and so friends, just let you know, like, uh, we are totally open, you know, to hearing from you, uh, you know, to receive any uh, queries that you may have, any questions that you may have, uh, you know, as far as your marriage is concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we we are. Like always, glad to make time. Yeah, you know, to meet with you. Um, 
and you know and then if your marriage is at a place where uh, you know things are not looking all that great mm -hmm. uh, then you know, we can help you mm -hmm. you know I was going to say even even though uh, ne the next two weeks we are not going to do the live um, and you run into situations you know um, you're having difficulty with your marriage you need some help um, just send us a message you know we'll be glad to be there for you pray with you uh, you know do whatever we can or even get on a zoom call and um, you know if, if you're you know nowadays distance is uh, uh, no problem you sure. know we can get on zoom and uh, see what we can do right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and also uh, like some of you who are watching uh, you know everything is you know well with you you know praise god for that mm -hmm. Uh, but you may have friends or you may have family members uh, for whom this is a very difficult season uh, in their marriage. Uh, some of them are talking divorce. Uh, I just heard somebody say today that uh, uh, when the when the pandemic eased up just a few months ago uh, in some of the Asian countries, I think they were mentioning Japan, uh, where uh, like pretty well the day the courts opened up, there was like a flood of couples that filed for divorce. I heard the same thing happen in China also. And even in some some of the uh, the U.S. states, and so so yeah, and, and the longer this can this continues, I mean we're just being told that is, is the vaccines are being made available, uh, but we we still were likely going to endure restrictions, you know, uh, until a certain herd immunity you know is created, and so so these stresses unfortunately are likely, you know, to continue, and uh, and maybe even uh, you know get more accentuated. Uh, and so if that happens, uh, like, like don't lose hope. Mm -hmm. That's, mm -hmm. that's basically what we want to tell you mm -hmm. is that uh, there is hope for you. And, uh, as followers of Jesus, you know, we, uh, this Christmas is a very special season for us. And we believe that, uh, you know, uh, by faith in him, mm -hmm. you know, with the power of his Holy spirit, mm -hmm. uh, all things are possible. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You know, um, one other thing as you were talking, uh, you know, you fell in love and, uh, uh, if you have faith, you know, God brought you um, both together, uh, not for a short time. You got married for a lifelong commitment. And, you know, uh, let's um, let's work it out. Let's work it out. You know, it's all uh, doable, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, just, um, just reach out for help. If it's not us, you know, uh, you might have somebody um, in your family circle or in your church circle. Uh, get some help and mm. uh, yeah don't give up too soon um, you know your marriage is uh, just uh, worth so much more yeah right yeah, yeah. especially if you have children mm. you know you don't exactly. want your children you know to suffer for generations right and so uh, so anyway all all mm. we're trying to say to you is uh, reach out to us and, uh, and 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 you know you know we will likely be able to help you mm. um, but in the in case we cannot mm -hmm. uh, then you know we'll be glad to find somebody for you that you can work with um you know maybe close by in your area but a lot of our mentorship we've been doing it on zoom before most people discovered there was something called zoom and so so we're very used to doing things online all right so thank you everybody for joining us um i'm, I'm pretty sure something happened to our facebook feed today uh, for people not to be able to join us but don't worry we will uh, post uh, a recording, recording of this uh, on all the social media channels uh, youtube facebook and uh, uh, and of course, LinkedIn, uh, obviously it, it, it was on LinkedIn because we had people respond from there. Uh, but we want to thank you all for joining us. Uh, and if you're watching the recording, we want to thank you also because you took the time, you know, to go through this uh, with us. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you know, we're not going to see you until the new year. Uh, so let's take this opportunity to wish you mm -hmm. sure. a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And, yeah, and a bright and prosperous new year. And so, as we always do, we're going to end with uh, a prayer and a blessing uh, over all of you. Okay, so mm. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this time that we were able to um, share with um, uh, everyone who was uh, able to join and also those who are going to listen to this in the future, Lord. Uh, Father, thank you for speaking through us. Um, and uh, we pray a blessing upon each and everyone that's listening right now and also uh, that are going to listen into the future. Father, be with each and every one of us, um, especially during this um, the Christmas season. 
And Father, I pray that uh, you will bless each one of us with your peace and also with your wisdom, uh, with your discernment uh, on what we can do, how we can uh, best make use of this, uh, uh, this season um, and uh, enjoy at the same time. Father, with you, all things are possible. And uh, you, your word says you will never leave us or forsake us. Um, help us uh, celebrate and uh, help us also keep in mind the true meaning of Christmas, mm -hmm. Lord. Yeah, and not lose that focus. And uh, help us uh, um, if, if there are services going on, uh, most places uh, probably, you know, services are going on, on online. Um, help us participate in those, Lord, and uh, um, keep our eyes focused on you. And we know as we do that, everything else will fall into place. And Father, I pray that your peace will remain uh, with each and every one of us. And uh, uh, we love you. We thank you for all your blessings. And thank you for coming into this earth, um, Lord Jesus, as a human being, so that uh, you knew and you understood what each one of us are going through uh, because you have been through it yourself. And uh, uh, yeah, we thank you and praise you, Lord. And uh, uh, be with all of us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. So God bless you all. Um, we will uh, see you again. Uh, yeah, thank you, uh, uh, Nidal, joining us there. That's a, that's a good way to end our session today. Uh, God bless you all, everybody. And we will see you again in the, in, uh, in the new year. Mm -hmm. See you next year. Yeah. <laughs> God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.